What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the first episode of what I call Truck Stop Cooking. I'm currently here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Petro. We're going to do some truck stop cooking today. Today I'm going to cook uh, some chicken and dumplings. Very, very, very simple recipe. Uh, very easy to do. prep time is four hours and ten minutes or that's including cooking time and prep time prep time about ten minutes very simple you put everything in there let it cook boom you're done I mean after three hours you gotta take the chicken out and, and, and shred it up and then put the biscuits and your vegetables in there and let it cook for another hour and then it'll be done but so yeah that's what we're gonna cook today should be good so let's get to it what's going on y'all all right first thing i'm gonna do in making this uh crock pot chicken and dumplings we're gonna cut up one onion onions. Let me tell you what the ingredients you need. This is just simple crock pot chicken and dumplings. You need one onion, one and a quarter pound boneless skinless chicken breast, which is about three of them, uh, one teaspoon of dried oregano, kosher salt, salt, uh, black pepper, two 10.5 ounce cans of cream of chicken soup, two cups low sodium chicken broth, which I have over there, I get out, uh, four sprigs fresh thyme, one bay leaf. Two stalks of celery, two large carrots, one cup frozen peas, three cloves garlic, and one can of biscuits. Which I got that in the refrigerator. Uh, the vegetables I'm not going to do right now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the onions, chicken, um, season it with oregano, salt, and pepper, and let the chicken cook for three hours. Um, no, wait a minute. We're gonna put the chicken in, we're gonna put the onions in first, the chicken on top of the onions, season it with oregano, salt, and pepper. And then we're gonna pour in the cream of chicken soup, uh, the broth, we're gonna add the thyme and the bay leaf, we're gonna cover and cook on high until the chicken is cooked through about three hours. That's what we're gonna do. All right.
not too big of pieces. chicken breasts. They ain't fitting all the way. have an old trash bag you can put your stuff in that's mine right there all right next cost for two ten and a half ounce cans of cream of chicken soup
hard to get out sometimes. Especially when you want to get a good one. I got bay leaf. Put that on top. Thank you, lid. Obviously, you're going to put it on. We're going to slow cook it. cooks for three hours we're, uh, we'll put the vegetables in we'll take the time out the time out and the bay leaf out we're gonna take the chicken out we're gonna shred the chicken and then we're gonna stir in our celery carrots peas and garlic we're gonna cut the biscuits in small pieces put that on top um, we're gonna take the liquid and pour it over uh, the biscuits and we're gonna let that cook for another hour or so And then we should be done. All right, I got about ten minutes left on the thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my garlic in there because I need my cutting board. cut up the uh, carrots and the celery didn't want to bore you guys with that this is the paper plate for the chicken when it's done we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut the biscuits I just got regular great value jumbo biscuits Make them as large or as small as you want them. So I'm just going to do a variety. Some small, some big.
thing that I'm gonna cook on this channel is stuff that is very much capable of cooking in this truck. If you have the tools, so to speak, to do it. Like a crock pot, or in my case, I have an Instapot. Um, you know, utensils like knives, obviously you can have those things. And a refrigerator, and sometimes in my case, you know, uh, a, a freezer. Now my refrigerator has a freezer, but it's not all that big. That's why I bought this portable freezer that was in uh, my last vlog. So I can have that additional freezer space to be able to, you know, hold a couple of weeks worth of food. Save me a lot of money. Now I'm going to take the chicken out. And we're going to shred them up. Yeah. You take the bee, the thyme out, and that bay leaf out. chicken breast off since I've already cooked it. Might as well use it. So I would say if you get chicken breasts and they're big ones, two is probably going to be enough. Now I got these at Walmart. And uh, matter of fact, I got everything all my food except for I got some things at Myers but anyway and this cooking show a lot of stuff that where I get my stuff at it's probably gonna be Walmart utensils and I got I ain't gonna lie I got cheap stuff because they're gonna be in a truck I'm not gonna spend lots of money on fancy cooking stuff in the truck as long as it does the job for me, that's all I care. Let this truck stop cooking. Okay, there's a lot of veins in that one. So, alright, so let's take this chicken, put it in there. Carrots. I'm gonna put those in there. Got my celery. Put that in there. And then underneath, got my green, my peas. I'm gonna put that in there. It won't give that a Nice stir.
trying to separate them as I put them in there. for another hour so I'll check back with y'all in an hour okay it's done that's what it looks like don't that just look good alright let's dish some of this out dish some of this up Stop cooking at its finest. stuff right there I don't care who you are you don't like chicken and dumplings and you just ain't American but anyway that's chicken and dumplings truck stop cooking right here at a petrol trucking stop right next to the fuel island in my truck using the instapot Hope you like this uh, cooking video of the chicken and dumplings now I'm gonna leave the link to the recipe down below in the description so you guys if you choose to make it you can make it real easy it was pretty good uh, I'm gonna make it again um, I, um, I had enough for for containers worth you know square containers got my refrigerator so I'll be eating it for the next two three days so anyway if you like this video hit that like button subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed uh, comment down below if you would like to see me cook you know whatever if I can and um, 
I'll see you in the next cooking video. You guys have a great day.